Ash United TV joined by manager Michael Clegg after the defeat in the first qualifying round replay of the Emirates FA Cup up in the North East against Ashington. Michael, I said it to you on Saturday, but it's a, another difficult night against the side two leagues below us. Yeah, it was. it's Ashington's night tonight. Listen, they've beat us 3-0 and and they were and they were worthy of it. I think like the dis disappointing for us is how, how well we've been up to this point. Um, obviously, the to, tonight's been been so tough. Obviously, we we lost Greg the keeper before before the game due to a, like an illness in the family, which was tough to take. So obviously, so just cannot be out. Through young Luke in the net tonight, he's done the club really proud. And uh, when he goes out, he look like he looks so young, didn't he? But I think Luke's done really well tonight. So that that was a blow. And then uh, listen. There's, the, I don't want to take anything away from Ashington tonight because over two games we've played them, there's a lot of good people. They've they've been great. We've not scored a goal in under 80 minutes, but I mean, the first half penalty decision at nil nil is just unbelievable. Refs give a pen, which is in the box, and then the line has deemed it outside the box. It puts you one nil after 20 minutes, and and it's a complete different game. And then it really changes the course of the, it, it, uh, the momentum. It of the does, game. and then to make it even worse, then the second goal, our lads are set up for our throw, and he's give it them. They took a f quick throw, and it's an unbelievable finish. But it's our throwing, and but we don't deserve to go through on the performances of the two games. But you feel like a few things were against you tonight, especially like Greg, and then your strikers stuck in traffic and can't can't start the game. Who do you start the game and all that? But listen, the Ashington boys have worked their absolute socks off over two games, and they've beat us fair and square. And uh, and it just is what it is. It's mega, mega disappointing for us after the start we've had. And and the, and listen, the lads are really low in there. They're absolutely devastated. Um, they know what it means to the club. They know what it means to the people who've travelled up. And we've got. But at this level, you can put it right at Bell Pro away Saturday and if there's a cup competition you're not going to win it's probably FA Cup but it brings in a lot of revenue for the club and it can take you on a magical journey and again this year that's not meant to be but what's happened this week I think has been really good for us um, no goals some some poor performances and we can act on that so when we go into Bell Pro on Saturday we already know probably the 11 who will be playing and I'll be honest I think they cut a couple of additions could spice this group up because I think too many at the moment are coming picking the shit up because they've had good starts and they should know it won't work with me Absolutely 671 the attendance here at Ashington you think that main impact it's a very partisan crowd I wouldn't say hostile because it's the North East everyone's lovely up here yeah, Jake's on the camera he's, he, he's from the North East he's lovely yeah. but you know it's, they're all lovely but it was a very partisan crowd with yeah. with a very one way bias you think that made an impact on the lads and being an impact on the men in black well, it, well it, ma it made an impact on the game the liners right on top of their dugout he's, he's told us it's not a pen when the refs give a pen and he's give them the throw what's led to the second goal so really you, uh, listen it's a couple of bad decisions but this day and age we've all got VEO and uh, but what can you do? You're out, you're done that. And you probably do deserve to be out. And I don't sound like sour grapes because these are all good people and I'd love them to go on a great cup run. I wish it could have been us, but, but that's done and dusted. My my focus now is on Belper. I'm embarrassed tonight. Um, stood there with 15 minutes to go 3-0 down. Got a young keeper in there and we, we've not really protected him. And you're hoping it don't go four and five, to be honest. I understand why Niall and Coatsy have gone one-on-one -on -one defending throughout the second half because we just want to go and win the game and I think in normal circumstances we probably just when we're away from home we'd abided our time a bit more but from half time we've just gone for it we've just but we've not really created anything a few balls across goal and that and it's a disappointing night it's a long journey um, we had our chance at home Saturday we had our chance again tonight and we've just not been good enough we've got a bounce back though in the league you mentioned Belper before you know newly promoted side on paper it should be a good game to bounce back on 100% listen it'll be tough every game in the Northern Prem is tough isn't it I think that the thing for us is we've started really well in the league so we need to go and go and carry on doing that now and I think obviously the bank holiday weekend um, lifted lifted our spirits the Warrington and the Hyde win and um, and listen we'll be really looking forward to Saturday this is a cup game there's one or two things we can do we can sulk about it or from tonight now we all get on coach we all regroup, we train Thursday and we go and get three points Saturday. That's going to be the aim. It's a good group. We, we really believe in them and I think that's why we're so disappointed.